Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. We have a new story today about a little girl named Katie. Katie loves to play video games with her friends, and her grandmother doesn't understand what is so special about video games. Grandma usually comes over to visit twice a week, but Katie notices that she has not been around recently and asks her mom why. Grandma the Gamer Hi, Mom, I'm home, Katie said, throwing off her sneakers as she came in the door. Hey, what's that smell? Did you bake cookies again? She said as she opened the box of cookies to grab a couple of her favorite kind, Smarties and chocolate. If you keep teasing about that one time I baked cookies and they all burnt, you won't see any sweets in this house for a whole year, said her mother, pretending to be angry. Just kidding, Mom. How do they taste? They were on sale at the superstore, and I can't help buying things when they are on sale. They taste great, Katie said as she poured herself a glass of milk. Anyway, gotta go, got things to do, Katie said as she ran out of the kitchen towards her favorite place, her bedroom. Make sure you have your homework done before you spend time playing Minecraft. And don't forget, Grandma is coming for dinner, so you need to come out for a visit. She misses you. Don't worry, Mom. I finished my homework in class. It was just some easy math practice, yelled Katie from down the hall. Katie closed her door turned on her string lights, settled into her comfy beanbag chair, and placed her milk and cookies beside her. Lately, this has become her favorite time of the day, the time when she got to build and explore worlds in Minecraft. Katie loved playing video games, especially ones that allowed her to explore and build things. Her current favorite was Minecraft, but when her mother said it was okay, she would play others. Often she would play a new game just to explore that world and not even bother with all the other things the games wanted you to do. Her favorite thing to do was to create her own world with all her favorite animals, especially cows. She loved cows. Often she would recreate the worlds that she read about in her favorite books. It took her two weeks to recreate Hogwarts. Her current project was to create a real working farm, just like the ones that they drove past on their last road trip through the countryside. Many of her friends were the same something her mother initially found hard to believe. They all came home after school, created objects or worlds or cities, and would talk about them via video calls. Sometimes they would get together at each other's houses so that they could work together to build something. Right now, they were trying to recreate Diagon Alley, but they were struggling with the details. Where's Katie? Grandma asked. She's in her room playing the video games she likes, or if she's bored with that, she might be reading a book, replied Katie's mom. Video games, I just don't understand. It's a nice spring day. Why isn't she outside hanging out with her friends? She often talks to them via the video app they use. It's the habit they got into when they weren't allowed to get together in groups. 
Her group of friends all have similar interests. They hang out, Mom, and I make sure they are safe. It's just different than when I grew up. When I was her age, I... You had to walk home in the middle of a snowstorm while sharing shoes with Aunt Sophie? Interrupted Katie's mom with a laugh. No, Grandma sighed. I was going to say that I was involved in sports, would spend my time after school in practice, and was determined to show the boys who was the best athlete. I know, just kidding, Mom. She's into exploration through books and video games. We can't all have the same interests. She would rather spend time writing essays or solving math problems than running on the track. I know, it just feels like we have nothing in common. We used to run on the track together when she was smaller. I don't think she really liked running, Mom. I think she just liked spending time with you. Yes, and I bake better cookies, Grandma said with a laugh as Katie's mom pretended again to get upset. Hi, Mom, I'm home, Katie said as she kicked off her sneakers and ran into the kitchen. How come Grandma hasn't been over for dinner these past couple of weeks? She usually comes at least twice a week. She has been busy with a special project lately and hasn't had time. You know, you could call her on the telephone, you know, say hello and ask her how she is doing. Telephone? What's that? That rectangle-shaped thing I always remind you not to spend so much time using? Oh, Mom, we don't use the phone app anymore. We just video chat and stuff. You older... Katie's mother gave her a look. You and Grandma just don't understand apps, games, and all this modern stuff. Uh Uh-huh, said her mother. Is your homework done? Yes, Mom, I'll show you later, okay? Anyway, gotta go, got things to do, Katie said as she ran out of the kitchen towards her bedroom. I finished my book, so I think today I'll just... Hmm, yeah, I think I'll explore that new map I started. Maybe add some houses and stuff, Katie thought. Before she could start, she heard her mother yell to her, Grandma wants you to join her on Minecraft. Grandma is here? Wants me to play Minecraft with her? Katie saw the gamer tag, Grandma G. One, two, three, four, five, six, on her list of friends playing Minecraft. Well, I guess I'll pop in. I can't believe that Grandma even knows what Minecraft is, let alone how to play, she thought. She spawned into the edge of a forest at the top of a high hill. Down below, there was a stream with cows and sheep everywhere. She first went down to the stream, said hello to the cows. She always liked saying hello to the cows, even though they never said hello back, and looked around for any sign that Grandma had started building here. She couldn't see anything, but climbed and ran up the hill towards what looked like a torch, placed at the side of a tree. Hmm, she thought. Maybe this is where she might be making something. She got there in a flash and noticed a cobblestone path leading through the woods. Rabbits were everywhere. Filling worlds full of animals was always something that only I did, she thought. My friends didn't usually like when I did that because they said it caused the game to lag. Katie ran along the cobblestone path through the woods, 
It was a long path that would sometimes go right through a number of high hills, which Grandma had dug tunnels through. Katie loved tunnels because you just never knew what would appear on the other side. Running through the tunnel, she saw that the path led to a brightly colored building in the distance. Her friends, especially Ryan, who she often had over to play, would never use crimson colored building materials. And all that stained glass? Only Tracy would use this kind of material. The boys always seemed to like stone, wood, and materials like that. Katie ran to the cottage and went inside. The inside had no treasure chests or even art on the walls, but there were stairs heading to a room below. She hopped down the stairs and saw a minecart there on a rail. To the left was a crimson sign that read, Hop in the cart for a ride to my kingdom. Sounds good to me, Katie thought. She pressed ride and off she went. First, it took her straight down, just like a roller coaster. The only roller coasters that Katie liked to ride were the kind experienced in video games. So this was fun for her. The cart veered left and then veered right and then started up a long tunnel with torches providing light. Wow, Grandma really put a lot of effort into making tunnels, she thought. She must have had help. No way she made all this by herself. I wonder if she asked one of my friends to help build this. Maybe Tracy, because Tracy's mom and my mom were good friends. She came out of the tunnel and was riding high up above a forest. Below, she could see more cows and rabbits, and sheep, carrots, llamas, and even a polar bear. So many animals, she thought. This is kind of awesome. In the distance, she could see her destination, and it looked beautiful. It was a large train station, very similar to the one they have at Disneyland, except it was high up in the sky. After she arrived, she hopped out of her cart and went to a set of long winding stairs that led to the most amazing village she had ever seen. It had a castle, stables, many, many houses and streets, a library, a hotel, and what looked like a bakery. It also had what looked like a running track, which only Grandma would make. No one else she knew loved track and field as much as Grandma. She walked to the town square and opened a chat. This place is super awesome. Where are you? I could teleport to you if you know what that means. She typed, Come meet me in the bakery and have some cookies that I baked today, Grandma said in the chat. Coming right over, Katie typed, and she ran over to the bakery. Wow, those look like awesome cookies, Grandma, and good job on creating this awesome town. Did you, um, are you sure you built all this by yourself? Thank you, Katie. They aren't as good as my real cookies, Grandma typed. And yes, I built this whole world all by myself. What? Typed Katie. You really are awesome, Grandma. Katie laughed in the chat. Yes, I thought I would try out these video games you talk about. Us old people can learn these technology things too, you know. Ha ha ha. This is so fun, Grandma. Is this the project that Mom mentioned you were working on? Yes. I guess it took me a week or so. I can see why you like it. 
It's fun to make things here and learn all the rules. So, do you think you can help me add more buildings to my town? I would love to, Grandma. And maybe after dinner you can teach me how to use what is called the recipe book and other tips. Sure thing. Do you play Roblox? Typed Grandma. I have played it, but Mom only lets me play when she is around. Why? Are you playing that too? Yes, I created a game where you have to run really fast and find and collect cookies. Maybe we can play that together too. My Grandma the Gamer. So cool. Speaking of dinner, your mother says dinner is ready, so we better go. Okay, I'll be right down. Love you, Grandma. Love you too, dear. And that is the end of our story. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>